know. Be careful, friends. Some places on our planet are so powerful, they can spit fire. Volcanoes around the world. Hello, friends. Today, Professor Jesse too. Domino and I are going to explain why some volcanoes erupt. Hey, kids. Do you like volcanoes? Let's get started. Hello, friends. How are you today? So, do you like volcanoes? We're taking you today to see the furnaces of our planet. Let's get started. A volcano is like a big chimney that goes far, far underground. Underneath, there's magma, a viscous liquid that comes from the center of the Earth. See that volcano behind me? It's supposed to be erupting. Careful not to get too close, Domino. In fact, Ayumi, volcanoes are the visible part of tunnels that run for kilometers and kilometers into the bowels of the Earth. Incredible kids, isn't it? During an eruption, the magma flows up the rock and ends up coming out of the volcano's crater. Wow, what gorgeous colors. Right, folks? Sometimes the magma just wants to come out, but the crater on the surface is clogged up. That's when the crater can explode and go boom. Let's not stand around, Domino. Volcanoes, my little geniuses, can sometimes become real natural bombs. There are three main types of explosive eruption, and each is more impressive than the last. First, the Vulcan eruption. It goes boom, throwing ash, lava, and rocks into the air. Not very high, but very noisy. Next, the Plinian eruption. A giant column of ash rises up to 30 kilometers into the sky. It looks like the volcano wants to send a message to the moon. And finally, the phreatic eruption. It happens when magma meets water, and boom! It explodes without warning, like a pressure cooker. So the next time you see a volcano, ask yourself, which of these three is going to wake up? But remember, volcanoes are best observed from a distance. Look, folks, the volcano behind me has extinguished. Life is back on its slopes and the surrounding hills. Professor Jesse too. is this normal? That's right, Ayumi. It's normal. Look, folks, after spitting out all its magma, the rock cools. It's very rich, perfect for plants or trees, and with them, life returns. Extinct volcanoes are like a saucepan that has exploded and given a jungle in return. To sum up, volcanoes are like dragons of the earth. They spit fire and lava, and sometimes they're really scary. But you want to know a secret? After all that anger, the earth calms down, and it becomes magical. Flowers grow, animals come to settle, and one day maybe, a child like you will build his home there. Thanks, Professor Jesse too, for all this information. Come on, Domino, let's go home. I hope you enjoyed this adventure and story about volcanoes, but before we leave, let's see if you've been listening. Are you ready for the quiz? Let's go. What do we call the volcanic eruption that generates a column of ash 30 kilometers into the sky? One, volcanic eruption. Two, Plinian eruption. Or three, a phreatic eruption. You've got nine seconds to think about it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done, friends. It wasn't an easy question, but you answered well. Don't forget to subscribe to Ayumi and Domino so you don't miss our next adventures. Take care and see you soon.